So Stadia has gone through many transformations in its years since it launched, and I wanted to take a second and make a video that fully takes a look at what Stadia can continue to do to improve. With that, it has added a lot of features in just a year. There's been more games, more accessibility, and it has taken it to another level. But what else can we see to really transform this cloud gaming platform into a must-use service for the casual and hardcore gamer alike? Let's take a look at some suggestions I have as well as what you guys think down below because I'm sure you guys have your ideas and suggestions on what you want to see in Stadia's future. And of course, guys, you guys never know who is watching over at Stadia, so give them your ideas. As always, subscribe to the fastest growing Stadia and cloud gaming community, hit that notification bell and the like button if you can. So of course, we can go ahead and state the very obvious, Stadia needs more games. I've reported this a few times this past month, VP of Stadia John Justice is fully aware that Stadia needs more games and they are working on it with over reportedly 400 games currently in development for Stadia. Instead, I want to go ahead and talk about some not so obvious things that I want to see Stadia have in 2021 and beyond. Things like ray tracing to me has to be at the forefront, and while a feature like that is largely dependent on the developers implementing it, it's possible we could see this as early in the first half of 2021, as Vulkan, the API that Stadia uses, recently announced its ray trace already, which I hope in turn will mean developers will start taking taking advantage of that. But while ray tracing can be somewhat dependent on developers, what about the things that Stadia themselves can fully implement to gradually improve not only this platform, but maybe even the quality of life overall? So of course, the, one of the things that I think about is the full Google Assistant button that is implemented into the Stadia controller. I'd love to see continued support for this, and while it can do some basic functions right now, it would be really neat to have something like this usable for starting up groups with your friends, or maybe even launching crowd play and crowd choice with live streaming, or think really about a host of other functions that this can really work with the gaming portion. Another thing I'd like to see Stadia implement is somewhat a surprising thing that it's already not even here, that is a yearly subscription. I think if this were to be implemented, you see a ton of Stadia users jump on this right away, including myself. Maybe a $100 yearly subscription, which would knock off about 20 bucks, considering that Stadia Pro is $10 a month, or just some form of a one-time fee would go a long way to not worry about yet another monthly hit to our bank accounts. Because let's face it guys, there is way too many of those these days. I think this would be a pretty hyped addition, so I'm hoping that this does get added in the near future future. But of course, on the hardware side, there's a couple more things I would love to continue to see. Now, I had reported some time ago, Stadia is fully working on the Android TV implementation, and this is single-handedly one of the biggest accessibility features they need to focus on more than anything. Being able to game on your TV is huge without having to invest in a Chromecast Ultra or the new Chromecast with Google TV that is set to have Stadia support in 2021. A lot of people use Stadia like they do their older consoles, and I would bet there's people holding back on trying Stadia because they don't want to invest in a Chromecast Ultra and they just want that regular gaming feel of feeling comfortable sitting at your couch gaming on their big screen TV. There is of course other hardware related things I'd love to see Stadia come out with. How about a Kishi controller that fits onto your phone but that plugs directly to your Wi-Fi like the Stadia controller or a Stadia Elite controller but of course none of that is technically needed. A lot of us Stadia users still like to buy hardware, especially if it can enhance the Stadia experience. So please do not leave that portion out of the entire ecosystem of Stadia itself. Of course, there's still other things we can focus on. What about the actual streaming portion of Stadia itself? Some time ago, I reported that Stadia is set to get AV1 codec support. If you don't know what this is, currently Stadia uses VP9 and H.264, which is the video coding that streams our games. AV1 could give the ability to reduce data usage, which would be huge here in the United States as we do have data caps. It could also mean that maybe as 5G gets better and more usable and more widely adopted, you could even potentially see, get this, 4K streaming over mobile data with Stadia games. That is something that we rarely talk about in this community, but I have no doubt in my mind that this is part of Stadia's future down the line and it's part of their vision. Can you imagine how much more that makes gaming consoles even more obsolete? Of course, this is years down the road, but AV1 could still come much sooner than that. 
Another feature that I'd love to see is the expansion of Stadia's state share, but instead of using it as a portal for gamers to include other gamers in their scenarios, I'd love to see this implemented in just our own saved games. I'd love to be able to be in the middle of a cyberpunk game and quest, stop the game, come back 12 hours later or even longer than that, and jump straight away right as I boot Stadia into that exact same spot. I'm not exactly sure if something like this could be implemented realistically, but it feels possible since state share is almost essentially just that, only with other people's saved games. Either way, there is a crap ton of things I want to see added to this list, and then I could mention that you guys have no idea, I could be here all day, and of course the games are always going to be at the forefront of this. There is a crap ton of titles, multiplayer games that I'd love to see on Stadia, but I wanted to take a different approach with this video and let you guys decide those games down below. Either way, let me know. Features or hardware, like I said, the games that you want to see Stadia implement in 2021 and beyond. Let's make sure we do give them our voice because they do listen to the community and I think your comments can definitely make a difference. Subscribe, like, hit that notification bell to know when my daily videos go live. I'm Sunny, and like always, I'll see you guys in the cloud.